Yo, let's chat. So, um, t yeah, <laughs> I've always told myself and oftentimes a lot of other people that the only things I've ever really been successful at, I've done myself. And I think that's because my propensity in thinking is that when I, when I want to do something, I usually do it. Um... Now, sometimes an idea doesn't always come to fruition because of other things getting in the way. So I tend, creatively, I tend to be more distracted in achieving a certain goal. But for the most part, if I'm really passionate about it, it's usually going to happen. Now, this, this turns into bad things, like spending money on things I don't necessarily need. But it also um, ends up being a really good thing, depending on what's happening. So in terms of editing or sticking to a plan, uh, I tend to see a lot of success when I put my mind to something. It's easy as someone who's into cameras and photography and stuff to get really swept away by equipment and everything that, that goes into film. Um, but uh, at the end of the day, you kind of realize that a lot, of, a lot of it has to do with really good marketing and advertising. And it's easy to get pulled away um, by different advertisements or lenses they tell you sh tell you you should get and other things. So I've gotten to the point where I've only shot ever shot on one lens, um, which is the one I'm shooting on now, which is the first DSLR I've ever owned. So I've never gotten another camera and don't plan on doing so for a good amount of time yet. Um, so I guess if you're looking to start filming or do whatever you don't need you don't need a lot of equipment and all you really need is the motivation and just doing it when i say the only things i've really ever been successful at are things i've done myself it's pretty much things that i've wanted to see myself be successful in so um i've done i've designed websites before that did well at competitions i've competed in photography contests that I've done well in. Now this is this is several years ago. But it's one it's like I've always been at the top of like for me at that time in my life, being the most successful at that thing was a lot to me. Um now I kind of see success as a reason to start something new. So when I am successful at something, it's looking to tackle uh a bigger goal. I think that's one of the reasons I'm so bad with compliments. Um, I've done things where people will come up to me and say, hey, I really like that video, or you did a really good job with that, I was really impressed. And um, and that's in other areas of my life, not just, not just making videos. But, and I'm just like, uh-huh, okay, thank you. And so it's just very awkward because, and I, I hate it because they're really like saying like a genuine like I like what you do and you do a good job at it um and I think I think it's almost rude when I'm like I I don't know what to say but I honestly don't like after putting so much effort into something and seeing it come to fruition with how you kind of saw it in your mind that's that's success in and of itself and I don't really need to be told that it was a good job. Now on the flip side, if I'm not told that it was good or something, then I kind of, I, for a little bit, I get discouraged, but then I kind of take a step back and I'm, I'm like, okay, well wait, let's look at what we've accomplished here. And then I'm kind of, I'm kind of back at the, I don't really need affirmation. I just need to know that I thought of this project. I took the steps to complete it. I completed it and it did well. Or even if I complete it and it doesn't do so well, it's it's an opportunity to learn. And I think that's always something to be congratulated. So I think I've posted maybe like three videos in the past like month or a couple weeks. That's a big accomplishment for me. So this is one of those times where I'm going to do a little check and just like a reality check and say, I think I think I'm happy with how this is going. <laughs> I think I'm going to stop monetizing my channel because I really don't care.
about getting money off of ads or anything. And I think it's extremely inconvenient to anyone watching a playlist, which I tend to do with my videos, because between every video, there's probably an interruption of some sort. And that seems really distracting to me. So I'm probably gonna stop monetizing videos and that way I don't have to worry about copyrights. Now, if there is a copyright issue, chances are whatever company owns that material, or whatever, will run ads on my video. So if you see an ad that's like not cool, just let me know in the comments and then I'll try to do something about the copyright so that there, there won't be ads that show up at all. But if it's an ad that's okay, then that's fine. I don't really care. They can, they can get money off of my videos, I don't really mind. Um, but I'm not really looking to make this a full-time job ever. So, so yeah. As far as everything else goes, um, on my breaks, I've been going to a local park, which has been amazing for me. Nature just seems to be something that I couldn't live without and an opportunity to just kind of relax a little bit. And so I, I've been going on walks and today it was deceivingly cold outside. Um, and I was kind of like bummed because the last couple days were gorgeous and they're like 60 degrees, which doesn't seem like that hot, but in comparison to what it's been lately, it is amazing. It was sunny outside, it was blue skies, a few sparse clouds, and then next week looking at the forecast for the East Coast, or at least where I am on the East Coast, it looks like it's going to be pretty warm, like almost 70 degrees midweek next week, and I am super pumped for that. So, yeah, that's what I'm most excited about at this moment. Bye. Wendy, second star to the right and straight on till morning. It's morning. Yes, and what a lovely morning. Good morning. Good morning. We've talked the whole night through. Good morning. Good morning to you. Good morning. Good morning. It's great to stay up late.